Hi, this is Karen Wesel, and I'm here to talk to you about Polk County Charter Amendment Number 3, the Charter Review Reform. Um, we are mandated by our county charter to have a Charter Review Commission every eight years. Um, and in that time, they look at different things that the um, county is required to do, um, look at if we need to continue some things that are on the charter that may need to be changed. Um, and currently, that comes up every eight years. It's mandated in our, ch our charter that we do that every eight years. Um, if you listen to my message about amendment number two and term limits, you'll know why I'm recommending that we vote no on charter amendment number three. Um, what is happening, and in, in, in when you think about it, it's pretty clear. Um, amendment number two wants to extend the term limits to 12 years for county commissioners. Um, and amendment number three wants to extend the term of the Charter Review Commission to 12 years. So essentially, they want as long as they can on the commission, and they want to be able to have the Charter Review coincide with their extended tenure on the commission so that they have total control for the next 8 to 12 years. Um, if number two passes, then all power to the um, Republicans, go, it goes to all the power to the Republican controlled county commission um, who reports to the special interest groups on uh, to the commission. Um, they're the ones who hold the strings. They're the ones who tell the commission, this is where we want you to vote, this is how we want you to vote. And if we extend their tenure and extend the um, charter review to run concurrently with the 12 year tenure, then essentially we're just giving all of the power, all of the control to the Republicans on the county commission. My recommendation is to vote no on amendments one, on amendment two, and amendment three. Um, and get a Democrat, me, on the commission this year, and then in 2020, uh, we'll have two seats that are coming up. And if we don't pass amend amendment two, then we can we have a good opportunity at that point to get an, two more Democrats on the county commission. Don't ever let anybody tell you that the commission is is nonpartisan. Um, it's a very political organization, and we've had no control. We've had no say on the county commission since 2010. It's time that we made a change. We can do it starting this election cycle by voting for me, um, and then in tw and voting no on the term limits amendment. And in 2020, we can get two more Democrats on the commission so that we have a commission that is there for the citizens of Polk County, not for the special interest groups. That's my recommendation. No on amendments, Polk County amendments one, two, and three. Um, and then of course, voting yes on the um, county referendum. That's money for the schools um, in, a, in a sales tax that everyone who spends money pays um, and it goes back to our schools, um, that's kind of a no-brainer. And vote yes on the referendum, vote no on the amendments, on the Polk County Amendments 1, 2, and 3. This is Karen Welzel. I'm your candidate for Polk County Commission. I live in District 4. Everyone in the county gets to vote on this election. Um, if you haven't already voted, please consider me. Um, I've been endorsed by Representative Darren Soto, by the Democratic Hispanic Caucus, by the Democratic Women's Club, by the Rainbow Ridge LBGTA Caucus, by the Progressive Caucus, um, and I hope to win your support and your vote. Thank you so much for listening, um, and vote for Karen. I'm the only Karen on the ballot. Thanks so much. I appreciate your time.